Now let's spice our board up a little bit with some cool image stuff that you can do. One really easy one is this icon option you have available. You can go in here and search. You can just click through here. So if you wanna put a little dragon on here, you can just click and uh, it'll pop it right in the middle of your board here. Um, now these ones, you can't change the color. You can go through here and treat it like an image though. So you can you know scale it up. You can even go in here and crop. So if you wanna go through and say, you know what? I just wanna see the dragon head. You can go through here and you can crop uh, this icon. And then right here, you can see you can uh, download the image. If you want more of a wireframe icon, you can go down here to the wireframes. And then here you're going to see you have uh, wireframe components. So if you want to drag and drop uh, or click on any of these to fill out, you know, if you want to, you know, do a mock-up of a tablet, you can drop a tablet in here. And then, of course, a drop-down menu. So you can just drag that in here. So you can kind of do a little bit of a, a mock-up. I'm going to go down Shift and just select these objects and delete them. Uh, but over here, you can see there's icons. So if I go through here and I search these icons, uh, it's a little bit more limited, but you can click on these and now you have a few more options. So here's my dragon icon from a wireframe menu and I can go through here and I can change uh, the color. This one's a little bit more graphic. Uh, you know, you do, you do still have graphic icons in here too. So if we took, take this back to like, you know, something like document, you know, tons and tons of options in here, some colored, uh, some a little bit more graphic. So you can just click on these, that'll put it into your board and then you can move, rotate, scale, all that good stuff, uh, however you'd like. Uh, if you want to bring images into here, there's a couple different ways. Uh, there was the uh, Google image search option. Um, that's temporarily disabled. I think they changed some functionality there, at least as of this recording, that might come back. But you can go in here, you know, and just do a plain old Google image search. And if you see something you like, you can do just Windows Shift S and just go ahead and grab that and then just go back in here and just Control V to paste that. Uh, and then you got this image. Of course, you can do full size images too. Again, you can click in here, you can say right click, copy image, and then you can just paste this image in here. Uh, if it comes in large, of course you can resize it, just click and drag uh, the corner options here, hold down Alt, and you can make the image bigger or smaller. And like I mentioned before, you can also go in here and crop. So if you just wanna crop this image down to just show you know, certain parts of this, uh, you can. Or you can also Alt drag off a copy of this and then you know, crop this out to show more depending on how you wanna use this. Now, like we did before, you can link these to separate pages. So if we go to the page with the dragon, we can just copy this link to Wikipedia. We can right click the image and say link to. And instead of linking to another area on the board, I can literally link to a Wikipedia page. You're gonna see it's gonna put a little Wikipedia uh, icon up in the corner. So on this image here, we can click that and then I'll uh, open up a new uh, page in here that goes straight to the Wikipedia page. Uh, of course, if you wanted to, you know, you had this you know, over here and you wanted to link to this and this board, uh, you can also say right click edit link. And in this case, if you want to get rid of the link, you can delete it or you can go right click and you can say link to and you can either paste the link or you can go to another area of your board, click on that, say confirm. And then again, now when we're in here, it'll shoot you right over uh, to that element that you wanted to link to. If you want to bring in multiple images, you can. All you need to do is have a folder of images available to you. I'm going to do control A, drag onto my board here. And just like we did before, we can shift drag over these. I can go in here and filter by only images. And now I've got just the images selected. So I can go through here and I can move scale and rotate these down. So again, these images came in big, uh, but I can go through here. I can say, you know what, let's scale them down. And that doesn't necessarily mean the quality drops. That just means I can still, you know, zoom in here and it's still high quality images. They're just smaller to fit in my board or be more compatible with um, you know my board size. So if I wanted to organize these, I can shift click uh, these objects here. I can go ahead and use that, again, the four corner arrows to put these all in one place. I can go through here and I can say, you know what, let's create a frame. Uh, the three dot menu drop down, create frame. And now these are all framed uh, together. You can select the frame and move it over here. Double click the name, give the frame a name. And of course, even within this frame, let's go ahead and make this big and we'll say, we'll go ahead and extend this frame out. Let's hold down Alt and just drag it from the corner. And then if we want to organize these uh, visually within this frame, again, we could just grab a shape. Let's go ahead and grab a square. We'll go ahead and drop it on here. I'm gonna say fill is nothing, frame color is red. We could even say, you know what? We got the text here. Let's go ahead and type in red stuff. We'll double click or control A to select all that text. We'll go in here, we'll make it bold, or you can hit control B, 
We'll change the text color to be red and we'll put that text right up here uh, at the top. So here's all my red stuff here. We can hold down shift. We can just select all these and move them down and then shift select all these and put them up here in the corner. I uh, like we did before, we can also right click or click the sh surrounding shape, right click, say send to back, and then we can go ahead and lock that. So then if we need to select these things, it'll uh, stick back there. Now uh, we can also select the shape, alt drag it out. Oops, let's go ahead and long press to unlock. Select the shape, alt drag it out. We can change this color, we'll say green. We'll go ahead and call this green stuff, control A, go ahead and make this a green selection and then I can go in here, select these images, we'll go ahead and put them in here and sort them in here. And again, I can always zoom in, we'll see the full quality of these images here. Uh, if you ever did want to see the original image size, you can click on the image and then under custom size, you can say, you know what, I want half the original or I want the full original and there is the original image and then we can go back down you can say half the original size or again, scale it down to fit on your board. You can also download the image from this option here. And one more time, you can select any image, any image here and you go ahead and crop it. So if you wanna use this as kind of a reference board of images, uh, not only is it good for you, it's also good for collaborators and collaboration is huge in Mirror. I won't be able to show that off that much, but you can have multiple collaborators in here all with their own colored arrows going all over the place. You can see what they're working on. You can work on a board together. Synchronous communication, asynchronous communication. You can go in here, you can see a little comment in here. So if you wanna say, hey, I wanna comment on this image here. And you can hit go at, and anybody in your team, uh, you can at them and they'll get a notification. They'll get a little notification uh, feed up here. Uh, Modicon in here. There you go. So now everybody can see uh, that I have uh, left a comment on here and they can click on this icon. So when they come in here, they'll say, oh, I guess there's an icon on here. And also if they've been added, there'll be a notification over here. They can even go, there's a little lower left bar right here. You can click that open. You can open up comments. So now you can see all the comments that are on the board, they'll all be listed right here. And if you want to sort it by who's mentions, uh, you can also do that as well. And just like we did with Wikipedia, if you have a bunch of images in here and you want to be able to reference back where this image came from, all you got to do is find out, you know, where the website is where you grab the image. You can go in here and you can copy and paste uh, this image in here. And then with this image selected, go in here and say link to or control K. Go ahead and paste that link and you'll see there's a little art station icon in there. So whenever anybody sees this image, they can click up here and go straight to the source of that image. You can also copy and paste video links. So for example, in this uh, one right here, this is actually a video series. So if you wanna go and watch this on YouTube, we can. I'm just gonna click this YouTube link here. So I'm gonna say control copy, and I'm gonna control paste this link. And then I'll go ahead and put this uh, YouTube uh, video right in here. Of course, I can you know, scale this up and down as needed. In fact, if you go to the three bars down here, you can go in here and you can say paste iframe code. So you can actually uh, embed videos into here. But you can see it's pretty easy just to copy and paste a video link. Uh, it'll show up. You can click play right within the mirror board. If you want to view it on YouTube, all you got to do is middle mouse click the YouTube icon and that'll pop you right out over here into YouTube.